told, right now you're not allowed in school and I'm not allowed on an airplane. Talk to us in your father. He'll be home as soon as he can. But he promised to take me to the New Avengers. You promised to take me to the first showing of the New Avengers movie. Seven days longer than our plan. And understand, it may very well be seven more. Don't forget to pack the saffron from Grandma's garden. Mom says to pack the saffron, the saffron from, from Grandma's garden. garden. Tell your mother I'll pack it just before I leave to keep it fresh. Don't forget. She says don't forget. You know, it is really not an Avengers movie. It has only one Avenger in the movie. Technically disqualified. I can almost bet they will have several cameos. Flashbacks from Iron Man Baby, a guest appearance from the Falcon and Winter Soldier, or one of the Dora Milaje from Wakanda. And there you have an Avengers movie. It's in two weeks. Will you be home in two weeks? Everything I've got to make it so. So tomorrow is big for you. Big? First day home alone. You should watch the movie. There is a movie called Home Alone. I think they actually made three of them. But the first one? Great. You should definitely watch it. Dad, it's no big deal. I got this. You do got this. Mrs. Ignacio is right upstairs. And I'm turning 12. And you're turning 12. I'll be home for that. I need you home in two weeks. Hey, how does she do that? What? Hear me whisper. <laughs> She's your mother. She has your dreams too. <laughs> Can you read my mind? Actually, your thoughts are predictable. Two weeks. So if a miracle happens and I can come home tomorrow, should I decline and just come back in two weeks? Are you still worried about being alone tomorrow? No, Dad was worried and I was reassuring him. Ray? That's it. Throw me under the bus. I'm avoiding. <laughs> just call him when I'm done. That was not avoidance. That was deflection. I had my friends home. Mom, Dad wants to know, what are you doing? Wow. Please put your mother on speaker. Dad, Mom wants me to put you on speaker. I thought you wanted me home. Put your mother on speaker so I can tell him how much I miss her. Now I fear for my life. And I'm running away to Kathmandu. All the way in India, but still causing trouble. The only trouble I'm causing is missing you. Is that right? Yes, that's right. And why are you getting him all bothered about tomorrow? All I said was a big day. It is a big day. You're saying so, that's enough. I get it. You're right. That's how conversations between mom and dad usually end, with mom being crowned correct. And she is correct sometimes, but then there are times when I overhear the conversation and dad is clearly correct, but he tells her she's right anyway. I don't get it. But in this case, they are both incorrect. I know I'm going to be 12, but right now, I'm still 11. And what kind of a difference is a few weeks going to make anyway? And all this stuff about me being a big boy. Yeah, I'm bigger than I was at 5 or 9, but I'm still 11, so no, I don't got this. Which makes me anxious, anxiety makes it difficult for me to breathe, and then I need my inhaler. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Ah. My online therapist calls it COVID coping tool. I did not need a therapist before COVID. One more thing COVID has brought me that I did not want, along with Zoom classes, boredom, and extreme isolation. But Raymond is the only thing that really grounds me. And I know what you're thinking. Isn't my name Raymond? I'm 11. I don't understand the psychology. Say hello, Raymond. Hello, Raymond. Is that the game we're playing today? I did what you told me to do. Can you say hello to the audience? Hello, audience. Wasn't that easy? Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Is there a good reason you interrupted my peaceful sleep, my soothing slumber? I... I was... You were having an anxiety attack, weren't you? I was having... Let me guess. Trouble breathing. 
Yeah. Well, if I could get me sooner, wouldn't it be more helpful to make your anxiety attack or keep me around so this didn't happen in the first place? <laughs> I'm not supposed to play with you at all. My parents think I should not have imaginary friends anymore. But I'm not imaginary. Exactly. <laughs> You're right here. Right here. Clear as day. Clear like glass. Huh? Like glass. I think clear like glass is better than clear as day. What if the glass is dirty? <laughs> what if the day is cloudy?
these numbers tell you? They tell you're smart and a guy. Thanks, but we both know intelligence is not my problem. Very well, smarty pants. Let's finish this mission. What do you mean finish? I thought this was it. Almost. All we have to do now is gather samples and place them out on the fighter stage so that they can get exposed to the early next guy. And then... And... And... And what? Then we wait and see. Be careful, Ray. We really can't afford to drop them. And then break off big and wolf them all kill them or we're doomed. I got this. You don't that. Put them down. Open the window. Take me out here and ready Great idea. And he's the smart one. <laughs> I'm 
the Gita of the earth and come to the aid of my worldly descendants. You are not a scoundrel or a vagabond. So, I'm here. What's a scoundrel or a vagabond? That is not important. <laughs> what is important is that you learn who and what you are, which brings us to the fun stuff. You answer to the name Ray, which for an American, is a very strong name. Red. It's like a straight line of energy piercing through everything it touches. Red. But you're giving it a word. Is Rahi? Rahi. Rahi Ji Khatri. Which translates to Victorious Traveler. We are our names, which means you have the ability to go wherever you want, whenever you like. But before you can do that... I can go wherever I want, whenever I like, because I have an autoimmune disease, and if I go outside, I could literally die! So what is this automobile disease you're talking about? Autoimmune disease! If I become infected with the coronavirus, it could be fatal. So no, I can't go wherever I want, whenever I like. I see that America has taught you to be literal and to lack imagination. <laughs> the travel I'm referring to is not physical, but requires much imagination. The first step is a simple one, but can be made difficult by a summer job. I'm not saying that you're stubborn, <laughs> but if you were, you could potentially make this part difficult. I'm listening. You must first boldly and unapologetically state your birth name. That's it. While simultaneously discarding the one you have come to know. What? I like being called Ray. Everybody calls me Ray. In case you were wondering, <laughs> this is what stubborn looks like. I don't want to be stubborn, I just like being called Ray. There is no one else at my school with the name Rocky. Since All that's going to do is call more attention to the wrong kids. Since when has become a unique, become a bad thing? My child, you must embrace who you are and live a life fully lit and not in the shadows. Uncle Himish, that's a lot for an 11 year old to digest. Let me put it this way trust in who you are and be all of that. Now, repeat after me. My name is Rahi Jeet Khatri. <coughs> My name is Rahi Jeet Khatri? Say it in your belly. Rahi Jeet Khatri! I said in your belly, not louder. Rahi Ji Katari. Better. Now from underneath your feet, I want you to say your name. My name is Rahi Ji Katari and I am a victorious traveler. Yes! Yes! That was simply beautiful. Tears are coming in my eyes right now. You can't see them, but yes, they are coming. That is who you are. Let me hear it one more time. Rahi Ji Katari, aka the victorious traveler. That was simply beautiful. Now, before I leave you on a journey, I have a gift for you I have yet to give anyone else. Journey? What journey? You did it through the transition from 11 to 12 would be easy. You must now travel to the world of Fear Oralist and follow the guidance of the celestial that awaits you. Fear Oralist is not a real place. I made it up. No different than the fears that you empowered to. Great. I guess this is my early birthday present. This is nothing wrapped wasteful paper tied with a pretty bow. Well, I guess it's somewhat of a birthday gift since today is your rebirth of sorts. My gift to you is I will give you a piece of your past to hold on to. And once you have completed your journey, you will have you'll be known as Rocky, Ray, Ray of Light. Right. That sounds like a superhero's name? Will I be a superhero? Did you just make me a superhero? <laughs> with limitations. And once you are done with your journey, you will have the increased ability to spread love, kindness, joy, empathy, light, dark places, situations, and rooms. Rooms? Yes, rooms. <laughs> if you walk into a dark room, you should turn the light switch on. Was that supposed to be a joke? All just aside, your time has come. Four? Your anxiety for retrieving your friend Raymond is through the roof, which is why I came to your rescue. Do you wish to get Raymond on the sidewalk? Yes, I have to get him back before my mother comes home. Don't worry about your mother. She's stuck in the traffic jam of all traffic jams. How do 
You know that? I caused it. Listen, you said you must get your friend Raymond off the sidewalk. And in order to do that, you must overcome your fear and your anxiety. And I do that by traveling to a few orders? Yes! You, you know what? Uncle, I don't think I'll be needing your help anymore. I think I can go it alone. Very well. You go on and get Raymond and I'll wait right here. Maybe you can bring me another banana while I wait. If it's gonna be going long, I'll definitely need that banana. I'm, I'm going. Should we pick up your journey? Okay, let's do it. What if my mother comes home? Your mother will be home as soon as the journey is complete. Plus, the traffic jam is a doozy. Now, let's begin. Stick to the left folded and close your eyes. You have four fears you must overcome in order to travel wherever you want, whenever you like. Your first fear is the fear of the dark. Your second fear is the fear of not being accepted for who you are. Your third fear is the fear of being alone. Your final fear is the fear of being alone. Now, continue to listen to the sound of my voice and repeat these words after me. I am not afraid. 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 Mrs. Lawson? No, my child. I am the law of acceptance. The law of acceptance? You can call me Loa for short. Loa? I like Loa, but... Kaden, he was 
teasing Malcolm, saying not so nice things, but then one day Malcolm just turned around and stared at Caden, like stared through him and Caden just stopped. And how is Malcolm treated now? No one bothers Malcolm anymore. I see. So you're saying that if I stand up and don't show that it bothers me, they will stop? Maybe, but what is more important is to not be afraid of being different. Sticks and stones. There is so much beauty in being unique. Sticks and stones. I think I can do that. Now, I think you are ready to face your next fear. Once you repeat this affirmation. What? It's an affirmation? It is something you say to remind you of your unique greatness. <laughs> are you ready? I think so. Great. Sit with your legs folded, close your eyes, and repeat after me. I am Rahi Jeet Katari. I am Rahi Jeet Katari. A victorious traveler. A victorious traveler. Like no other. Like no other. No one is like me. No one is like me. And I like no other. And I like no other. Good. Now repeat alone. I am Rahi Jeet Kateri, a victorious traveler like no other. No one is like me, and I like no other. I am Rahi Jeet Kateri, a victorious traveler like no other. No one is like me, and I like no other. I am Rahi Jeet Kateri, a victorious traveler like no other. No one is like me, and I like no other. Yeah, wait a minute. Tabitha? I am Dakka, Queen of the Dark. That is a very dramatic name. Imagination. But 
What about the shadows that look like hands and large mouths coming to grab me and eat me alive? I have to say, I'm a little shocked. How about what? You're so smart. I'm shocked that news information you have to make sense of. What information? Science, your favorite subject. You might be not to through an object, but like passing the edges of that object creates a shadow. These are not monsters hands or mouths. Just light. I thought you were queen of darkness. How do you know so much about light? There's no dark without the light. I do get what you're saying, but when it's dark and I'm scared, it's hard to think logically when I'm scared. I know something that'll help remove that fear for good. What's that? An affirmation. Of course. Repeat <laughs> after me. The dark is a friend. The dark is a friend? That allows us to rest. That allows us to rest. So when we wake in the morning, so when we wake in the morning, we can be our best. We can be our best. Now, the whole thing, over and over. The dark is a friend that allows us to rest. So when we wake in the morning, we can be our best. Keep going. The dark is a friend that allows us to rest. So when we wake in the morning, we can be our best. The dark is a friend that allows us to rest. So when we wake in the morning, we can be our best. The dark is a friend that allows us to rest. So when we wake in the morning, we can be our best. Okay. This is getting weird. You look like a kid from my class named Malcolm. Except you're dressed in a colorful costume. Are you making fun of my clothes? Sorry, I thought you were asleep. No, I was somewhere else, but I was still here. What does that mean? It means I am a yogi and I transcend my physical body. But right now, I'm talking to some rude kid who thinks my clothes look funny. And he's afraid of being alone. I'm sorry if I offended you. Hamish was right. You are dumb. You know Hamish? Why didn't you speak with him? He texted me to let me know you were coming. Mr. Yogi. Mr. Yogi Yogi to you. I have cool clothes and I know things. How can I help you? I'm not so sure. Get you again. Remember, I know why you're here. I'm a yogi and I transcend my body. And you're afraid of being alone, which is why you think you need a big yellow sock to keep you company. I meant this more than a sock. Because you made it more than a sock. Hey, look, I'm not judging. Many kids who don't have brothers or sisters make up imaginary friends. Heck, some kids with brothers or sisters make up imaginary friends. So there's nothing wrong with you for doing that. There isn't? Not at all. And why do my parents and therapists want me to get a bit of Raymond? This is not about the Raymond. They just want you to be confident in who you are. To live in confidence and not fear. I don't think I'm afraid of being alone. I just don't like being alone. Oh, so you just don't like being alone. I see. Okay, Mr. Yogi, very funny. I get what you're trying to do. Mr. Yogi, it's not just that I don't like being alone, it kind of makes me uncomfortable. Yogi, did you hear that? It makes me uncomfortable, anxious. I experience a lot of anxiety when I'm alone. I'm experiencing a lot of anxiety right now, actually. Mr. Yogi, I'm really not used to being alone without Raymond. Don't stop there. Dig a bit deeper. Raymond is a part of your imagination. So you have the power to hold on to it or let him go. I thought that I was here so I could gain the power to retrieve Raymond. Yes, but what happens after that will be up to you. What you have to come to realize is that all of your fears are connected. If you leave one undone, they are all likely to come back stronger than before. 
Daddy, you will face this. You will go through it. But first, Mommy, what are you afraid will happen when you are alone? Something. Anything. Something bad. Bad like what? Like someone is going to bust through the door and tie me up and ask me where the Infinity Stones are? Infinity Stones? Ain't that from the Avengers? Yeah. You, 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 you know that's a movie, right? I know. I watch a lot because I want to be the first Indian Avenger. Okay. <laughs> is there anything else you are afraid of will happen when you are alone? Sometimes I'm afraid that the floor is going to fall out from underneath my feet. That's what I've never heard before. <laughs> anything else? Not really. Very well. I think you can agree that rather your fear being based in reality, they're based in action. Say I say. Uh, yes, I agree. Through several yoga postures, I, Yogi Yogi, will show you how to transcend your physical, to not hide from life, and to accept that life is temporary. And if you accept the temporary nature of life, then there's no need to be afraid of death. Do as I do. But live inside your body. Transcend your skin bones. You are more than that. And you are never alone. You each have the assignments. You activate your shockers. Nothing left to fear. Because the body is not you. You know. 
never lose them because they're always right here. Hold that close to you during the final part of your journey. I thought I was done. I conquered each of my two. Now we have faced up all at once. This is known as conquering the beast. Thanks, guys. 
Well, it looks like you're in good hands. Yeah, I'll miss you, Rocky. I'll miss you too.